Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to paint this coat rack. Some of you may remember me doing this in a previous video on another one. Um, and that one ended up in our laundry, which I'm very grateful for. It makes a lot of uh, more space and more ease in there. So this one is going, well, I might, I might wait to decide where it goes once it, I see how it turns out. Um, the original plan was to do one for our bedroom. Um, you may remember me having done a smaller blue and pink one for our bedroom and then I bought new curtains and no longer goes. So we are going for more of a tans and browns and uh, yeah, hopefully something a little bit more luscious. So we've got yellow okra. Burnt Sienna, white, and I feel like it needs something else. Can you think of another color that I could use? I'm not really sure. So I'm going to get started creating it. The only other one that's actually jumping out at me is um, Payne's Grey which is like a blue tinged black it's um, like a midnight blue sort of thing so I might go with that um, and I'm going to use my very own gravy jug, separator jug sandwich pour which some of you have seen me use in the past um, and I'm going to do it slightly different and I'm going to put the silicon into the white now normally I put the silicon in the colours and leave the white alone for some reason that's not what is being asked for by this painting. Ah, right. so let's see what shows up. That white feels a bit thick. Uh, gonna pour from the top. So we've got burnt sienna, yellow okra, and just a tad. Of that and then I'm gonna go back in with more white let's move all those away so we don't get the paint all through it and see what shows up what do you reckon will show up do you like my mug <laughs> all right Now, one of the things with using a gravy separator pour is you need to pour slowly so it doesn't come out the top of the jug. And then I'm going to do a slight circle pourry type thing, maybe ish, on the stems.
starting to get low on paint in here so it's slowing up as it comes out now. Let some of that paint that's come up the jug run back down to get into the spout. Hopefully. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. Oh well. It's nearly there. One more ring of colour around, hopefully. Create some sort of colour flow down these. It has not got all the way down. as well. Maybe now we can start having a look and seeing what we've got going on in this lot. So, we put silicon in. You guys saw me do that. Let's see where it went. Just going to run some white down this side first, just to fill in the edges. And let's tilt that way. Okay. That's that done. Why am I filling up the edges with white, you may ask? To give a flow space. To give the paint somewhere to go and a pathway to flow on. If you've ever seen water moving, it always goes where it's wet. And it always flows where the path of least resistance 
which tends to be where it's wet. So that's what I'm creating here, a path of least resistance all the way along so it flows evenly. All right, so let's tilt it this way now. Go back again and try and fill in those gaps. gaps uh, I'm liking what I've got and I'm not liking the big gaps in it so what can I choose what can I create let's see if we've got I'm gonna put some more white straight down into that pile of color in the jug this is the last of my white See. Not as much paint as I was hoping for. Let's give it a go. Nope. Oops. There goes my tin. I'm definitely seeing some paint shifting that wasn't shifting before.
Uh, the joys of not starting with enough paint. Eek, that's gone grey. Not my colour. Give it one more tilt now that we've covered it all. And I'm not loving it. I really am not loving it. I have to admit. There's patches I like, but I'm not going to hang it in my bedroom like this. So let's see what we can change. First things first. is to scrape the paint off. Sorry for bumping the tripod. Ah, no, you're supposed to go in the pot. Come on. Right. You know what? I can't make any worse job of it. <laughs> the worst thing that can happen now is that I wash it off, leave it to dry and do a different pour completely. Or I create something greater. And let's see which one that is. So. Oh, that's very brown. Oh, I just saw a big blob go in. And we're pouring out over the top. Oh, well. Let's 
tilt. What have we got? It almost looks like it might end up like a, um, an animal skin. Oh, I haven't put any torching on this. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Before you tilt, if you torch, you stretch any cells that come up when you do tilt. I think I'm liking this one. Definitely better than the last one. Sorry I'm a bit quiet today. <laughs> it's, this one seems to be a thinking paw. Oh I like the stems. They look luscious. Delicious in fact. I'm seeing some midges hovering around. It's getting to that time of the year in New Zealand where the bugs come out to play. It's warming up. It's been a very muggy day here.
pond. Yes. That's it. That's a very big mess that looks quite funky. <laughs> what a hole in my bucket, Eliza. Not that many cells. Must say I do like this area just here. It's funky and I like this area just here. So let me get you down and show you what I like about it. Alright. It's coming from this direction. It's quite messy. This is quite nice in here. I like that. But this is the patch I really like. Reminds me of one of the cones that um, there's some trees growing over in Queensland in Australia that have cones like this. That's quite a funky piece. And I really like that bit. So let's have a look from another angle. Those stalks are pretty cool. Swirls. Oh, I've missed some through here. I'm going to have to come back and get that. And I've missed some through there too. And through there. Good job I brought the camera down this angle. Alright, let's get that fixed. Okay. direction that plane is going to take off in. I reckon it will take off in our direction and make a lot of noise since I've got all the doors open. Wow, I'm just running my fingers across the bottom there and look at all that paint that's just come off. 
that's a lot of paint and that's a very funky design let's grab a cabochon 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 What do you guys think of that? Mm. Ah! Droppage. Do you think I captured a good bit? <laughs> we'll have to see what that looks like tomorrow when it's dry. I'm not so sure I love it, but I know I don't hate it, which is always a bonus. So I'm going to sit it up slightly because I'm noticing that there's a bit of pooling of paint at the bottom of these posts. So I'm going to wedge. Widget so it's slightly tilted. So that that can pour down that way. Rather than accumulate and go hard and crusty down the bottom there, hopefully. And, oh, sorry. I'm going to come back and show you it all when it's dry. How's it get any better than this is my question. What else is possible? So it's dry. It's dry dry dry. And it is looking kind of funky. Hasn't really changed much since um, you last saw it, the only thing that's really changed is the texture of the end of the knobs. Check this out. The wood has absorbed quite significantly. But that's to be expected on unsealed wood ends. I am not surprised at all. There's a little bit of texturing. Oops, come on. Texturing went there as well where the wood ends were. It's interesting. I wouldn't say it's the most beautiful thing I've ever created, but it's definitely gonna add a bit of texture to our bedroom, behind the bedroom door at least. And um, yeah, I like it. Let's go and see if my husband likes it. <laughs> I haven't shot him yet. How's it getting any better than that? Oops, sorry. Alright, so the other thing that we did was this cabochon. Doop, doop, dilly. And that looks cool. I like that. That looks like you're looking through grasses or um, hair or something interesting. I like it. It's interesting. Multi-dimensional. <laughs> Alright guys, so how much fun can you have? What magic are you creating? Come share it with us in the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And um, I'm super looking forward to seeing more of your upcycle creations. Those are looking fabulous in the event. So um, if you've got some, share them with us or just come and check out what other people are doing, what they're upcycling. How much fun can you have? I know I've been having fun with paint today, so we've got new stuff on the way. And uh, what else is possible? How much more fun can we have? I adore you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.